Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ford's Garage. I'm Glenn, and in this episode, we put in the cams, or cam gears on, all the covers hopefully, and we're doing a little mount here so we can shift the water reservoir forward a little bit, so we can get that thing breathing properly. Stay tuned. Alright guys, it is a new day. And we're going to put the cam covers on the rear section. Now the right hand side one, this one down here, is all broken and crappy. So Dad's found one at the wreckers just up the road. He's half got it off, but he's at work, so I'm going to head over there and finish it off. Um, he couldn't get it off because he didn't have sockets. Because these are set back. He only had a spanner. I head over there and grab that. I think I've got to get the pulley off. I need the 22mm socket. So I'll just take this socket set and head down super cheap, get some spark plugs, get an oil filter, and hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll be ready to go back in. Well, it's raining. I'm just going to sit here and have some Hulk juice for a little bit, and then I'll jump in. Outback, I think it is, that's in there. Double overhead cam. And then uh, we'll get it off when it comes down a bit, hopefully. Alright, guys, I have been to pick apart. I was there for probably about 20 minutes. Had to get the main pulley off, had to get an idler off. And I got the right hand side rear cam gear cover off and I've got the left front um, cam gear cover as well and some bolts I have too many bolts and a few brackets that I found they're all the same so that might help with relocating the water reservoir and now that's super cheap so we're gonna get some supplies. There we go, super cheap haul, spark plugs, oil filter, fuel filter, and that hose joiner for the remote oil relocation thing. See you back at the garage. Alright, we are back. Let's have a look at the difference. It's the one I just got off. So that bit was broken off. This bit here broke. Cool. I think I've got a seal, like just the foam bits. I guess destroyed with some oil. And there's outside of the left. Um, we're gonna have to take off the dipstick to get this side behind here cool. bit of uh, this foam that needs to go on there so I'm going to clean these up now and uh, I'll put some foam onto them I've cleaned up the left hand side one and I've put some of this foam on the back that I got with the kit also got this rubber gasket it's a replacement I have no idea what it's for but just replacing it anyway <coughs> so I've just got the cam thing up on the Workshop manual, cam covers. So we've got this little seal here too. I believe it goes in that way. That way. I 
think it's just so that the metal isn't on plastic. Alright, I'll just clean up the one that I got from Picky Park. Alright guys, that cover that I got from Picky Park, the holes are actually in a different mm -hmm. position for these. So I'm just gonna fix up my old one. Mm. Oh, that was a massive fail. Just get some RTV on there and I'll clean it up first so it sticks. Get some more RTV on it. That's just <sighs> so frustrating. Alright, right, I am just getting the pulleys on. Pulleys? No. Um, cam gears. So we've got right intake. Notch here goes in there. <coughs> These bolts have to be torqued up to 96. T5, 98 newton meters. T4, 39. I can do that one now. Okay, so I have to wait for Dad to get home to talk then. So I'm going to put, no, I'm going to set the timing first and then put the belt on. We can put this centre cover on. Alright, so we're doing the timing, so align mark A, which is the sprocket here, with the line on, on, on the oil pump, which it nearly is. Alright, here we go. Smack on the line. Okay, now where were we? Oh. Okay, then we have a line, single line mark A on right hand exhaust camshaft sprocket, which is this with notch B. So that's here on the cover. That one's done. Align single line mark A on right hand intake with that one. Make sure double lines, see these ones, on intake camshaft and exhaust camshaft sprocket are aligned. Line single line mark A on left hand exhaust to the outside. Look, is that compression there? Whew. I'll find a way. <laughs> Yay! It's only like a couple of minutes. I just did it by hand. Here's my muscles. So I got a single line up top. So that one there. These two lines matching. Single line out to the cover. So just opposite to that. <sighs> sure, camshaft and crankshaft sprockets are positioned properly. Alright. Okay. Let's get the tummy bird on. It says arrows and stuff, there are no arrows, but there is a little bit of a, a rubbing bit on the outside, which I know was here. So it can't be on the inside, but it's facing the right way. 
Yay! Finally did it. So I had it half on. It's idolized half on that one. And it was it on. And the Allen key in here. The tensioner. There we go. So it lines all match up. Make sure they're all tight. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'll go get this up. And we'll put oh well, no I don't. I'll put the center plastic on. I've got a metal splinter. Get my tweezers. Oh. Okay. Here's the new rubber. <coughs> So, I haven't actually driven the Forester with just the GT35 before, so I'm guessing it's going to be pretty laggy. It's pretty laggy as an auto anyway, so I guess it'll be okay until I work out the low mount. I'm just going to find another one for that broken bit down there and I'll put a, a washer and a nut on the back of it to seal it up. There we go guys. It's on. So a couple of the bigger ones here. I've got a nut on the back of here. Should have enough room to put the oil on there. If not I can just back it off. Put it in and then put it back on. Um. Timing is good. Timing is all good. Um, I shot in this. That's just silly. And then we'll get to the water reservoir. I'm just going to put you guys on charge. Alright, guys, I've done the water reservoir. So, I use those brackets I got from um, Pick Apart. So, to the top. So, there, I drilled them out to 12 mil. I'm using 10 mils with the stock. Stop. Just the normal racket there. And then on the bottom one, I've drilled it out for the 12. Come across and I've got that really long 10 that I used for the 2 inch V bands. And just got a couple of spaces in there. And that is pretty damn solid. So. I'm going to leave it there today. Um, when Dad gets home, we'll talk them up. We'll put the covers back on. We'll. So, tomorrow, that should be going back in there. Stay tuned.